Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here with a new action figure review for you. This time I am reviewing the Marvel Select Titanium Man action figure. This is made by Diamond Select Toys. This was released in 2021. I bought this through an online store in 2022. And here it is. It comes in a nice, very big blister package or window package. I say blister because all the sides here's the top here's the bottom here's this side and this side it's all plastic so with a piece of cardboard on the back which has a little inf information here about the titanium man some manufacturing information down here diamond select toys so here, I do like these window packages where I can see what I'm getting. Even though I bought this through an online store, I still like to be able to see what I'm getting before I actually open it. So we have the action figure and an extra head and extra hands. There might be some more accessories or maybe not. But I do like how it looks in the packaging like this. The one problem with this kind of packaging is it's kind of hard to open. I end up uh, cutting it along the side here a little bit and I peel it open in order to pull the action figure out then I can put it back in for storage but I prefer an actual uh, window box but uh, this is okay the way it is so I will open this up and review it in just a moment here is the titanium man and the accessory it comes with so we have a pair of fisted hands and uh, grasping hands I've already switch the hands in the package the fisted hands were on the action figure but I switched them out so this is the left one looks pretty nice the hinge kind of works there so that's working the other fisted hand um, I was playing with the uh, peg here to see if I can get it to bend and it started flaking off so I think it's the paint I think some of the paint on the fisted hands is flaking off so the plastic itself seems to be okay it's mostly just the paint that's flaking off so other than that it's okay but I'm not sure I want to switch around the hands too much anymore after that but here is the head here's the uh, helmeted head looks pretty nice and if we look inside looks like there's a couple of different plastic pieces that are put together to make it work and we'll get to that later and let's see how tall this action figure is it's about nine and a half inches tall or about 24 centimeters tall so that's a very tall action figure. I think it's the tallest one that I have reviewed so far. So here is the Titanium Man with the human head. So it looks like a nicely sculpted head there. Yeah, lots of hair. There's a beard. So, looks pretty good. The rest of this is pretty much one color. Nice shiny green color. Lots of sculpted details throughout, but it all seems to be just one color. Here, this piece is pliable plastic. It's also pliable plastic on the back here, kind of a skirt piece. Uh, looks like some cuts here. And I think this is to allow articulation in the legs. So, looks pretty nice. But everything else is a solid, solid color. Just some details, it's all kind of shiny. Looks like we have some uh, silver paint on the edges of the boots here. If we look at the bottom, we have a different color. Or maybe it's just not painted at all. And the texture feels a little rough, but a lot of details on the feet. We have peg holes in the heels there. On the back, just some smooth sculpted details, all a single color. So, 
So let's take a look at the articulation. We can look up or take the head all the way off. Comes off pretty easily. So we can look up and look down. So the neck does move around quite a bit. We can turn side to side. Lots of tilting, unless I'm taking the head off. Ah. Still, there's some tilting. So lots of articulation in the head, that's pretty nice. The arms. We can move out that much, not too bad, and we can go up and around. Is This part is interfering with the articulation here, but we can move this much pretty easily. We have... and bicep cut up here so that does work this side when I first got it out was very very stiff but now it's loosened up a bit and it is turning at first I didn't think it was there because it wasn't turning but there is a bicep cut we have single jointed elbows looks like maybe just up to 90 degrees there. Not too bad. Then we have a swivel at the elbow there. And we can straighten it out. Straighten it out. We can turn the wrist. And we do have hinges at the wrist. This side seems to be very stiff. So, no, I'm not going to force it. So, this hinge seems to be very stiff in the hand, so not really working very well there. We have a diaphragm cut here where we can not really crunch forward but we can go back a little bit we can tilt side to side we can turn there is no waist cut we can do the splits it's pretty impressive there we can kick forward kind of I think it's being blocked by this skirt piece here. Kick back. We can kick forward. And kick back a little bit. And I think there is an upper thigh cut. It kind of looks like... It might be hard to see, but it looks like there might be an upper thigh cut here. And here but when I try to turn it I don't think I'm turning at the upper thigh cut so it's only shifting in the ball joint there so I'm not sure the upper thigh cut is really working if that's what it really is there so that doesn't seem to be working we have single jointed knees let go that far we have a swivel at the knee. So it turns that far. There's no boot cut. The ankles go down that far. Not very far. They go up about that far. And there's no ankle pivot. So it seems to stand pretty nicely. It's kind of heavy too. So 
I do appreciate the size of this action figure. And the head does come off. Just have to work at it gently. It'll come off. And then we can put on the helmet. So at least that works and nothing is breaking as we swap out the head. So at least the plastic is strong enough to be able to handle the stresses of switching out the head. So I appreciate that. Now we make sure we get it standing in the right place. I'm a little worried about the ankles getting weak. And there we can get it standing. That looks pretty nice. Here is Titanium Man next to a pair of 4-inch action figures. On the right is an adventurer from an Animal Planet set I reviewed a while ago. On the left is the Fortnite Jonesy action figure by Jazzwares. And I am impressed with how large the Titanium Man action figure is. And it would make a great giant robot to battle against these little action figures at this scale. Here is Titanium Man next to a 6 inch action figure on the left. The Fortnite Legendary Series Havoc action figure by Jazzwares. And a 7 inch action figure on the right. The Masters of the Universe Masterverse He-Man action figure by Mattel. And the Titanium Man action figure just makes a great giant robot fighting against action figures at uh, these two scales. Here is Titanium Man next to an 8 inch action figure on the left. The Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure action figure by Hasbro. And on the right is the DC Multiverse Atrocitus Collector Build action figure by McFarland Toys. That's about 9 inches. So the Titanium Man action figure is now the tallest action figure I have reviewed so far. It, Used to be Atrocitus, but now Titanium Man is the tallest action figure that I have. And it scales pretty well together. Uh, however, the Crimson Dynamo, I think this particular version of the Crimson Dynamo armor was supposed to be absolutely huge, even larger than the Titanium Man. So uh, they don't scale accurately together, if that's the case. However, Titanium Man is supposed to be a very large character. But it does look nice to together. I like having the large action figures. The Hammertron Sledgehammer rating for the Marvel Select Titanium Man action figure is it's okay. Maybe just a little bit high uh, considering the limitation of the articulation. No ankle pivot. I'm not sure there's a very full range of motion. Um, perhaps the upper thigh cuts aren't even working for me at all and they should. Um, perhaps but certainly looks nice. I'm also disappointed about what I think is the paint flaking off of the fisted hand. So uh, it's the first time I use it and the paint flakes off almost immediately so I'm not really happy about that. At least I hope that's only paint and not plastic otherwise the thing is crumbling in my hands and I'm not happy. But it looks nice. It'd be great for some displays. Uh, the articulation is just a bit limited uh, in the legs to so I can't really get very good dynamic poses, but other than that it seems to be uh, pretty good Thank you for watching my review video. Please like the video Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this action figure and remember to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews I'll see you next time. Bye everyone